All right, I got a message on my Instagram from somebody who was asking for some advice on how to TIG weld out some rectangular tubing. So today, we're gonna break down some settings and we're gonna go about some techniques that I recommend to do this one. And for settings on this demo, we're gonna turn our machine down to approximately 160 amps. This should be plenty. 120 hertz for frequency, my balance about 30% positive, and a good amount of post flow to keep my tungsten clean after I finish. Now taking a look at these ones here, we're gonna be doing a longer butt weld on this one. We will have to keep a uniform width and profile across this surface. Wrapping around the outside, we will be doing an outside corner joint. Again, we will have to keep this quite prone or else we will overfill very easily and spill over the edge. Turning over to this side, we're gonna have the same butt weld that travels across the surface. And then flipping it to the inside, we will finish off with a fillet weld that terminates with a button to finish it up. So let's clean these up with some acetone and get down to it. Okay, first up, we wanna make sure that we have a good fit up for when we tack this together. I wanna to make sure each tack is as low profile as it can be. This way, when I weld over it, I don't have a big blob or anything to contend with. You can see, as I'm tacking it, I give it good heat to sink everything into the base material. And then I give it a little cold dab as a cap just to prevent it from cracking. Right there. I wanna keep everything the exact shape and size I want for my full actual weld later. Now that it's been thoroughly cleaned and I'm properly wire brushing it, I am happy with my setup. We can see each tack has been properly blended and placed in exactly the right spots. I'm pretty comfortable that none of them are gonna break or get in my way during weld out. Getting set and comfortable, I'm able to see clearly and I'm ready to weld. Okay, so what is the most important part of every weld? Most people who watch my show know it, is the start. I am taking my time with the start here. I'm waiting for my full puddle shape and profile to blend before moving out at all. A dab of filler here and there just to see what it will do. Fill and chill, no rush. And then look, once I begin moving, all I have to do is just maintain what I started at the beginning. You can see I am set up to be comfortable here. My hands and my posture are exactly where I want it to be. My filler rod hand is well out of the way and my torch hand is comfortable and able to move freely. As I approach the end here, I'm making sure to control my width and make sure that I don't blow out or flare too wide. Okay, making sure I'm comfortable for the outside corner here. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is a small wrap around the corner. This is gonna help me to properly connect these passes and make sure I don't leave a gap in between them. Now I want you to watch one thing specifically here. Do you see how much I'm blending into the base material? Each dab I'm doing, I'm making sure that my filler sinks into the base material and doesn't overfill. It almost looks like I'm cutting into the base material. This is gonna get the weld profile I want and it's also gonna ensure I get the best penetration. And again, look at how comfortable I am. If I can't see well, this weld is gonna suck. And again, I'm making sure I don't flare out too wide at the end. A proper finish, and there we go. And then here we're doing another proper connection. This detail is super important. I made an episode specifically all about this trick. And then once I'm sure I've connected properly, I'm able to continue on same details as the first side. Because I got a perfect start here, maintaining my details will just be a matter of babysitting. I'm keeping a really close eye on my overall width and profile as I move along with each step. And again, here you can see I have proper hand and wrist posture. I can see clearly. This is the best setup for this joint. Now, this one was difficult to film. While I'm trying to film it, I wanna ensure I have proper penetration, as well as all my details of size and profile, stepping consistency, and filler rod amount. But once again, you can see here, I am comfortable. And because I am comfortable, I can see exactly what is going on. Now, as I approach the end here, I'm making sure I keep my size and profile exactly what I want them to be. A nice centered button, slow arc off, Mic drop and I'm out. All right, let's take a look at what we got. So for our first one here, you can see we properly centered and started in the joint exactly the way we wanted to. And then once we began moving, we kept the profile going as we moved. We had consistent stepping and consistent filler material put in there. And on the inside, we have a good amount of penetration too. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Coming around to the outside, I'm definitely pretty thrilled with how much this sat down into the joint. You can see the penetration on the inside. This blended in exactly the way we wanted it to. 
As we get a look at it from this angle here, we can see the overall profile did not overfill and spill over the edges. Once again, we had a consistent stepping pattern across this surface and everything connected neatly around the corners. And then looking at the last butt weld here, you can see that as we travel across the surface, again, we maintained a consistent width as we did so. From start to finish, everything stayed relatively the same size. Our stepping pattern was pretty good. The amount of filler worked out great. We have good penetration on the inside as well. And then turning the corner properly to the fillet, you can see we stayed relatively centered in the joint. Our stepping pattern was pretty much even as well. Good amount of filler and good amount of penetration on the inside as well. And then making sure to put a nice little button on it just to make sure we close everything up and finish it properly. If you would like some more tips on techniques I use to go around and properly connect corners, watch this episode here. This episode here goes over a lot of tips on how to deal with these details. So go deeper on this subject, check that episode out. Go out today, do a random act of kindness for a stranger for Pacific Arc TIG welding. My name is Dusty, Phil and Chill. We will talk soon, peace.